A supervisor is an EMT two or higher. What's up, Super Mr. Awesome Gamer? Complete the DNR log and do it immediately. And uh, make sure you're logging situations that are out of your control, even without it. Like I mentioned, without a supervisor. So like Noah, who is stuck in the rocks. If there's no diver on, just DNR him since he's out of your control. I got a question on the DNR. Yeah, go for it. Do they get any notifications like on our website that they get posted as that? Or no? Yeah, we we do have a log, so that way if a complaint is filed against us for oh uh, this person didn't revive me, they hate me, or something like that, they're a terrible EMS, we can go back or the command can go back and say oh there's a DNR there, we couldn't get to you for this reason or you know. You're not valuing your life or something like that. Okay. Next time, do this differently. I use my uh, TS app on my phone to notify one of our DNRs. Nothing, so, dude. Uh, I'm over at this new community <laughs> called Pro Project Reality, dude. Yeah, I, don't I heard uh, Singularity shut down or something. I got some freaking email or something. I don't know. Um, I gave up on the uh, weeding. Um, there's you know, too much drama, too much salt. Too many little kids running around doing what they want, so I'm here. Uh, but I, I'm usually really lenient about it unless they get really annoying or really salty at me. Then you're just like, hey, you're floating in midair. We literally cannot get to you because that happens a lot. With, dude, this map has a lot of debug zones for some reason. But yeah, DNR is pretty straightforward. If someone's locked in a car, you know, just um, DNR them if you can't get them out. Our double life policy, so when you become an EMT 1 or higher, you get a double life, um, which means you can go on as your cousin, or you can go off duty as a civilian, and you can... I don't know, dude. Uh, I got an email a couple days ago through engine saying that, um, you know, they were shutting down, they were finding some other aspects. I don't know. I don't know if that's a, an older message or just that that night. Why we call them a brother or a cousin or something with a different name. And uh, then you can have a little more fun. So it, so then it's not a boring EMS grind all the time. We have restrictions, though, for it. So as long as there's at least one EMS on per 20 players in game, that's our ratio, one per 20. Uh, if there's more than 20 players on and one EMS, then you should probably come on an EMS. If there's one EMS with a good amount of players on, you should probably ask your t partner or the other EMS hey, is it okay if I go on my double life, all this kind of stuff. Just be courteous, because we are a team effort here. You know, no one exactly enjoys being medics, because it is, you don't get awesome gunfights, all that stuff, but it's one of the most important roles, because then no one will come into the town without medics here, because then they lose everything. Um, enforcement strikes are given without warning, and if you are seen for blatant disregard for people, um, for just ignoring your, and just using your double life because EMS is your primary like um, life. EMS should, everything should revolve around EMS, and your double life is more of a privilege, not a, not a right. And just be a team player. And then in terms of Jaws of Life, which is your impound feature, I believe it doesn't work when people are in the car. And it's One hundred and thirty six old town. And four. Um. We do have a master key. I haven't been able to get it work. A lot of uh, citizens actually have pick locks and they can help you pick it open. Um, Jaws of Life, basically, you don't want to use it just because um, you just got to use it in, if they're entrapped in the vehicle, but sometimes it doesn't work. Usually, you know, you just got to get in the driver's seat and pop them out, that kind of stuff. Also, um, and for impound being, impounding vehicles, uh, you never impound a vehicle that is um, unlocked. And in, in, actually, I think you guys went over this in your interview. Never unlocked it uh, or impound a vehicle unlocked in the middle of the street. Just get in and move off the road. If a vehicle's off the road, don't worry about it. If the vehicle is locked and in the middle of the road, then you can impound it. And then module three, which is the last one we'll do for today. I think there's a total of six. Uh, proper proper vehicle usage so as probies uh, you're only allowed to use the ambulance for now as soon as you become EMT 1 you can um, use the CVPI for 
incidence is greater than, I think it's like 1.5 or 2.5 kilometers away. And then after, once you become EMT2, you are uh, able to be star, star qualified. And I'm in char charge of the rapid response, so I can get you rapid response certified, which will allow you to drive the Evo or the Subaru, um, so you can get the uh, distances. I believe those are, it would be like low CD if you're not pilot certified and stuff like that. Also at EMT2, you'll be able to be trained as a diver. Pilot suitable. Um, when you arrive on scene with an ambulance or another vehicle, you always want to uh, park so you block the flow of traffic, angle your vehicle, and open its doors. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've been with other people that have been driving, pull off the side of the road, and then it's usually um, probies from the last time the town was open that they pull off the side of the road, because, you know, that's natural instinct, get out in the middle of the road. And some guy comes buzzing by. Oh, wow. it's on scene. And um, I've been killed a few times by that. So it just helps you and keeps you alive. Because if you die, you know, 10 people die. Yeah, I'm going and through their know. training right now. They have a different medical system, different procedures. So I'm just sitting here listening to them. Players can hear your siren. And it gets very, very annoying. annoying for anybody on the um, And driving to the hospital, once you... Uh, Clear the scene, get everybody treated and stabilized. Make sure if you have a partner, ride in the back with the ambulance, and they will stabilize the patient on the way back to the hospital, you know, or being stabilized in the patient. When you get to the hospital, um, right now I believe we got to figure it out. For this hospital, we'll park where those cars are out front, and you can probably uh, pull the ambulance through that pull through there. And then uh, uh, make sure you, the partner who is not driving in the back with the patients, make sure you explain not to get out of the vehicle until the doors are open the vehicles all the way stop because we've had people at our old hospital we'd back up and we had people jump out as i was backing up and they died underneath the vehicle and the briefcases went underneath the vehicle and made the ambulance jump up in the air and killed everybody so that's there's a reason why we tell people not to get out of the vehicle and that's why and then when there's no uh, patient in the ambulance just park it in the parking lot where all the other cars are. And that finishes Module 3. Do you guys have any questions? No. Um, I do remember these modules from the other county. Yeah. Um, I know yeah. Um, I know. as far as, like, don't revive anymore than your ambulance can hold. Stuff like that, so. That actually brings me up to another point that's not on the uh, training module since they're still being updated. We, our ambulances can hold seven. However, right now they hold six because the stretcher seat is not available. You have to purchase a stretcher in the store and then deploy it, put the person on it, and then load it into the back of the ambulance. And how to load it is you just put it near the back, and then it should be loaded. Yeah, you look at the, the bumper. Yep, don't do what I did and try to shove it in there and then let go of it. Because then everything blows up and you die. <laughs> you mean you die? Yeah, that's that's it. Um, and any other questions? No, that's it. Right, I guess these are all the training modules are the same one that I went over last time. They all seem the same. Yeah, they're they're pretty much the same. You know, we just go through it, and I I feel for you guys because I was in uh, three to four communities as EMS before I came here. I, I just I just came out as a fire chief at another place with Ace Three. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, yeah, I know the frustration because I I grinded for ten to thirteen hours for weeks to get the EMT two and then finally paramedic. And that's why I, I was gonna come back. I told him I wouldn't come back until unless I got paramedic because starting at COVID sucks. And if I was man, I would definitely. You know, you guys seem like you know yourself. You know, because it, it sucks starting at Proby, but I'm sure with the limited amount of staff here, you know, if you guys do a good job and have quality work, you'll get moved up no time.
The map is lakeside, but ma this lakeside maps is altered severely. There's still a lot of changes to come to lakeside. Like that big river that goes up towards DOC, they're wiping that out. There's a whole bunch of lists and changes to this map than what the old lakeside was. Yeah, I get slower. I see some people trickling into town here. That's really good. Good. We just finished module three, answering questions. Cool. Seems like all they all have a pretty good background in EMS. Yeah, I know John personally. Another town. Oh really? Nice. Yeah. What town would that be? It's probably been a year, actually. Uh, I think yeah, yeah, it has been a while. Uh, Crystal Shores. I doubt you probably know what it is. No, I'm pretty sure I've been around the block a few times, so I'm pretty sure I would. Yeah, it's not one that had lived along, to say the least. Nope, it was quick. It's been there and we had some time. Which one is it? So is it, is it Dank Aries? What did you say it was? Crystal Shores. I cannot hear you. Crystal Shores. Oh, I know. I heard that one. Hopefully it's coming back. Yeah. I didn't feel the next couple years. The, the original um, lakeside, like the very first lakeside, Dr. Papa Stark, that was me. I was chief over there. Yeah, your name actually does look familiar. And then, um, we only had actually um, this curtain system, and then they put CSE in, so. Guys, doing well training. Um, so, so are, I have a question: Are these training modules the same thing as um, a, a country called Royal? Yes. Oh my God! Not again. Well, I mean, <laughs> our last director before I came in was the one from over there. So, Sarah. Yeah, I know. So basically, they just he just transferred everything from there to here. Yeah, I was over there as EMS. What was your name over there? Kirk Yeet. Were you after Ellie left? Yep. Okay, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, and I was only there as their director for five days, really. I was just, I was fed up with it and left. Yeah, it was kind of AIDS after a while. I, ba I basically left after a while and went to Blackwater. It just turned into fucking acid. Hey, I figured it out. Well, I'm gonna run the hospital a little bit, and then I'm probably gonna go off and go home, see the wife and kids, you know? That sounds good, man. We'll get the rest of your training done later. Yeah, I should be uh, back on tomorrow or so. Yeah, just so get with uh, Jack, myself, uh, Christopher McCoy, or Craig Riley. They're the only okay, it's all good. Instructors, so. Awesome. It's gonna wander out here and. Maybe I don't. Uh, Jack, can I speak to you privately, please? Yeah, let me figure out how to get off the seat. I was going to put this out hurting myself. What? Here, I'll leave. I was going to pull you to my office. Okay, let's do it.
you might join if you want to dude you do um application for civilians pretty easy